What if I told you that reality is not what it seems? That the world around you, everything you see, hear and feel, is not solid or permanent, but a projection, a holographic code etched into the very fabric of the universe? What if the Matrix was not just science fiction, but a metaphor for the deepest truth of our existence? In our everyday world, lithography is a process where light etches intricate patterns onto a surface, like silicon wafers for computer chips. A photo mask guides ultraviolet light, carving micro-scale circuits into metal. It's a process where light and shadow create complex codes, translating into the technology we use every day. Quantum information holography suggests that our universe is a vast cosmic scale lithograph, but instead of silicon wafers, the medium is the very fabric of space-time. Instead of ultraviolet light, the universe uses hawking radiation, light in its purest form, as the etching tool. Imagine the singularity as the primary coil of a Tesla coil, where all possible angular frequencies are wound together tightly. It emits these frequencies like a cosmic quantum radio station broadcasting through the medium of space-time. The event horizon is where this broadcast is received. It acts like the secondary coil of the Tesla transformer, a spherical array of entangled qubits. Here the raw angular frequencies are not just received but transformed. These lithographic imprints on the event horizon are not just patterns. They are the code, and this code is not abstract, it is us. The geometry of these interference patterns directly translates into the physical and conscious reality we experience. This cosmic lithographic process operates at the maximum information density possible. The holographic screen is refreshed at every Planck time, with the wave function collapsing and redrawing the projection of reality. At the heart of this process lies Hawking radiation, the universal etcher and observer. It is not merely light, but the very mechanism by which reality is measured. Hawking radiation projects angular frequencies onto the holographic screen, interacts with quantum state vectors, and through this interaction collapses the wave function. Imagine standing in a room surrounded by mirrors, each reflecting not only the present, but every possible path you could take. Some reflections align perfectly, creating clarity, while others distort and vanish. This is how the universe operates under quantum information holography. Since the entire information field is hawking radiation moving at the speed of light, it experiences no time dilation which is non-locality. In the holographic universe, quantum states are projected and observed simultaneously, with the relative projection making non-locality appear as local causality. Each of us is a world line a unique interference pattern that arises from the sum over histories of our quantum state in the singularity. Where these interference patterns intersect, lives touch, destinies cross, and possibilities unfold. Microtubules within our neurons act as biological Fourier transformers. They resonate with the angular frequencies of the singularity, decoding them into our conscious experience. It is as if our minds are tuned into this quantum radio station, what we experience as reality is the sum of these interference patterns, where constructive and destructive interference create the tapestry of existence. The universe is not computed linearly, but is instead a living, breathing lithograph. We are not just observers of this quantum lithography. We are part of the projection, reflections of light projected from the singularity, existing as both observers and the observed. Our lives, our thoughts and our very existence are the result of this eternal broadcast. And perhaps the most beautiful truth of all is this. In this grand cosmic etching, every interference pattern is a story, every world line a melody. We are the notes in the universe's symphony, each of us a harmonic of the singularity's frequency, living echoes of a timeless, boundless song.